Welcome to the Academy of Photography. I'm doing this because I'm having fun. When that's gonna stop, I'm gonna walk away. I'm Christian Tudor and today I'd like to talk about nightclub photography and how to make money shooting parties. Night photography is uh, many times overlooked as a serious type of photography and also this could be a possible reliable source of income. Not only shooting a party is a great way to use your camera skills and lighting knowledge but also you can increase your exposure as a photographer, have an income and use, use it as a great marketing exercise for yourself. Also you can have a lot of fun in the same time. I have photographed few costume parties before in nightclubs and all I can say is uh, it doesn't happen every day that you can photograph or over a thousand people in four hours or in one night. I have counted the photos I have delivered and I have actually delivered over 800 of them in one night and measuring uh, an average two to four people in a photo you do the math. I have never believed that people will make long queues to get their pictures but taking into consideration the environment where everyone is in an absolute fun mode with a few beers on board you will never believe what happens in front of the camera after a few hours. I cannot show you the wildest ones as I do not wish to show people over the reasonable limit of decency appropriate for this forum. Let me give you some tips about nightclub photography. If you ever consider doing this, here are a few uh, aspects you need to consider from someone like me with some experience, including pros and cons and few words of advice. Night photography is a great way to take a lot of photos of a lot of people in a very short period of time, obviously. You need to have a lot of business cards handy as some of them will ask for it. It is a very easy way to increase your exposure as a photographer. Your website or Facebook account will have traffic going through the roof the next day when you publish those photos and people will start tagging themselves. Of course you put all the photos with your logo on them. Some of the people will drag them and make them their profile photos in their social media and they will remain visible for a long period of time for a lot of people. Some of those people will contact you for jobs as well. Having a thousand people photographed in one night will surely create few sparks for your business as a photographer. You can also have fun as well. You'll never believe what people might do in front of your camera and might drag you into it. Also, this is an easy setup. You don't have to have worries about camera settings or equipment. What I've done, I took two studio lights with me and used them with a, a wireless trigger. I didn't use any background because it was inappropriate. Uh, I tried, but it was trashed immediately. You need to remember you're dealing with half sober, half drunk people. They will step on everything without looking. So you need to ensure your cables are in a secured position and uh, your location in, in, inside the club is strategically chosen to make a flow of people that are queuing not interfere with your setup. Remember, you'll have a queue, so you need to direct them into a safe queue. It is really important and safety is, is an important issue. Remember, you're a professional photographer, you need to have a public liability insurance to protect you in, in case someone gets injured. In regards to camera settings, nothing complicated. You just uh, need to shoot in manual mode, ISO 100, shutter speed 125th of a second, and F depending on the um, room sizes. You can do a few test shots until you get things right. I usually uh, used an F between 5 and 11. If you are considering walking around with a camera and uh, with a flash towards the ceiling and with the bounce card uh, lifted, you might think again because you might not have the same results from two reasons. First of all, Having a nice setup with a few studio lights, it will give the impression and the experience of a red carpet event and people love that. This is what attracts them to come to you. You don't walk around with a camera and uh, get bumped from various people. And also, the second reason, usually in nightclubs you can't find a proper white ceiling, making uh, the bouncing uh, flash idea useless. If you have, you're going to have mirror surfaces or all sorts of dark uh, surfaces, it's not going to be useful in any shape or form. So remember, people come to you, you sit in a spot and you take photos and people will just uh, do a catwalk in front of you. So you don't have to walk around, get bumped and uh, cause actually accident. And also you give people a chance to play in front of your camera. Let's talk about nightclub photography as a serious business. Where are the money coming from? What's the deal? How you can make this as a uh, reliable source of income? Well, first of all, you need to make some win-win arrangements with the venue. 
either you can ask them to pay you for the photos for your services and for your your work and as, as labor or you can actually propose them that you can you can sell the photos in a way and share and split the profits with them no venues will allow you to make money if nothing is good for them so what you can do in other than uh, publishing free photos on the website you can offer people to order prints in good quality not a lot of them will do it but some of them will actually want to have a uh, printed photo of themselves because they took a lot of effort to arrange themselves and if they have a costume definitely they're gonna have fun and they want to keep that picture in a good condition so you'll have the opportunity to close some sales and uh, you need to prepare an online ordering system on your website I am using a photocratic theme for my WordPress website and it is very easy to set up you do not need to be an IT geek to be able to do it yourself you, I will probably do another video in more detail how you can actually make a photocratic theme on your WordPress website but all I can tell you it will give you a very easy way to create forms put prices up and link it to your PayPal account so people actually can go onto your website and click the photos and they can place an order depending on the size and on the price that is up to you so remember WordPress website with a photocratic theme that's a minimal cost you already have an online photo store like an e-commerce and you do not need to employ anyone from IT all the free photos you're gonna put on Facebook will have your logo watermarked on the photos and they will be displayed on uh, websites and social media they will be shared and uh, that will land you few paid jobs in on the long term weddings babies babies family photography or other night photography jobs watermarking your photos in bulk will be a subject to a different tutorial you can't do it in Photoshop you if you have just a small software that will do it immediately for you it's gonna take you just few minutes also I just want to talk about few aspects that you need to consider if you're considering this as a serious business or a permanent job this is a Friday Saturday night job so you need to make sure you're ready for that so if you have family think about that make sure you look after your equipment because people in a club they are not paying attention and they damage a lot of stuff they step on cables and all of that so make sure you look after it make sure you have public liability insurance just in case someone gets injured because you will interact with a lot of people you need to protect yourself from a legal perspective also you need to make clear arrangements with the venue in terms of copyrights for, the, for those photos also using those photos for your own uh, marketing purposes it would require a model release form however it's unpractical to ask everyone for a signature you were talking about thousands of people and uh, usually people are aware they will be photographed and they are coming to you so they won't mind being on Facebook and that's exactly why they let themselves photograph you're not forcing anyone to be photographed so basically this is their free will for them it's gonna be fun and games for you it could be a very serious business well that's about it I'm gonna share with you some uh, some photos I took you're gonna see me they uh, dragged me into their play I was happy to do so I hope you enjoyed this if you have any questions feel free to shoot them and remember do not forget to subscribe on the Academy of Photography website I'm always happy to receive also photos for comments from other other people I'm happy to share my experience with you until I see you next time I wish you happy shooting thank you very much